hire people many, many, many things today, including this, 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 and this, but not limited to those. Many more things. Let's kick off. I must redeem myself for that shitty restoration I did the other day. Look, I went through the lettering. Didn't even bother doing that side. I feel ashamed. I feel very ashamed. So, I'm going to show you a Garrington's Curlew. It is a bit pinged and dinged and mongled, but it is quite old, so that's to be expected. But worse than the pings, the dings and the marks is a wobbly head. And it's a nice handle. What a shame. What are we going to do? Well, first off, what we're going to do is get that head and the handle separated. So, I'm going to use a socket a little bit smaller than the hole, the hydraulic press, and I'm going to push the socket in until I lose it. Right, that's that socket lost, so time for another one. This is only happening because it's a very deep head look. Normally the handle would have dropped out way before now. But as it is, I'm going to have to just give it a little bit of a helping hand because I'm running out of small sockets. Right, that's the head off the handle. Now we can have a better look at the head. It's a bit messy in there, isn't it? You can just make out made in England and a smeared date down the bottom. And on the other side, we can just make out curlew and 20 ounce. So, time to get this head cleaned. Now, what just took less than a minute on here probably took 10 to 15 minutes in real life to do all the sides, keep turning it round. I haven't even done the bangy end yet. Okay, I've already had a 120 grip belt onto this. Now I'm going for a 180 grip belt. And it does make a hell of a difference. So there's nothing really wrong with this handle, apart from the fact the head's a bit loose on it. And I can't tighten that up by coming down the shaft anymore. And it's got this split in. So this split I'm going to deal with with some special glue called Evo Stick Polyurethane Wood Glue. Hmm. 
Now it's meant to set in five minutes, but you know, anything like this, I like to clamp it up and leave it for a good couple of hours, longer if possible. And while that's clamped up, it's a good time to get some true oil gunstock finish on the rest of the handle. Right, so I come back to this in a couple of hours time when everything's dry. I've got this lump of beach plank here. This is a piece of floorboard. It's one of them tester kits that, you know, you just apply and they send you some testers through the post. Cheapest way I've found to get beach and other hardwoods. So, chisel a lump off. Nice lump. Take it over to the sander and shape it. And now make it fit in that loose bit. And now I'm putting its original number two wedge back in at a different angle. We'll zoom in on this in a minute. You won't even see the bit of beach I've put in and you'll see how snugly this fits. Squashing everything open, making that fit nice. No more wobble. Okay, a reminder of what it did look like before I show you the miracle that it has turned into. This is what happens when you're filming from above. You, you're you trying to get your fingers to reflect in it. You don't know what you're doing. You can't see it and you don't realise the entire room is reflecting in it. Managed to keep all the lettering and get the date up clearer. We can see it now says 6 of 58. And here's near enough its twin, the 16 ounce version, which is near enough what this one started out like. So that's a nice before and after comparison, isn't it? Little bit different shape there if you, if you look at the top of the handles. I suppose I'll have to get around to restoring that one next as well. Right, I've got three and a half hours of footage here to clear through. So, let's have a quick look at these spanners. After I've cleaned all of these and the mold grips and the screwdrivers, we'll get onto a tool haul. And I might just have to restore something in the tool haul too.
Okay, back to this little screwdriver in a minute. But now, remember this Stanley I paid a pound for? It doesn't retract very well. So, bit of silicon spray. And Bob's your sister's uncle's brother. If you're probably not like me, you're probably organised. I've got one, two, three, four, five. About seven tape measures hanging up there. I've probably got another eight around the benches where I've measured things. I pick them up and put them down, I don't put them back. Then I have a mass exodus of tape measures from the workbenches back onto the beam on the ceiling. And uh, away I go again. Some more tape measures I've got of that. Right, shall we get an overhead shot of these? They actually come out way, way better than what I expected. So they went straight on eBay. And uh, people are bidding as we speak. People are bidding. Jack of One Trades, thank you for subscribing, thank you for joining, thank you for watching. Anybody uh, interested in tools, pop over to Jack of One Trades. I'll put a link somewhere down below. Jack, leave a comment below and then people can click on your comment and go to your channel. That's the best thing, isn't it? Yeah. If anybody's out there watching me, please leave me a comment and then other people can read through my comments and go, oh, we've not seen that channel, and click on your channel. And off they'll go to your channel. I do not mind. Don't even don't even come up with a bullshit message. Don't go, oh nice restore, blah 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 blah. I'm thinking of doing one of those in Magnolia. Just go, come and check me out. I'm better than Jim. So this is just a bit of solvent to get off there's some paint and stuff on this. And there's some scratches, fuck it now. Oh. Right then, huh. And I might have done that burn. Shit bollocks, shit. So, um, I should have done a close up, shouldn't I? I never think of these things. I'll see if I've got it where I bought it off Tony still. And uh, stick it on the screen now. But what I will show you. I'll show you this from here. I done this just now on the fucking on the 3M wheel. Can we see that? It's like burnt. That, that happened because I'm a twat. And I should have put a washer on. Stick a screw through the middle of one of these sanding discs. This is an old one, show you in a minute. Right. So that's just an old one that I've used before. So, stick it on your screwdriver like that, because we're only doing that bottom end, aren't we, yeah? And, uh, we'll give it a twist, won't we? You want to find a hole. If you ain't got a hole, make one. But I do have a hole, especially for things like this. All right, ready? There's the hole. Look at the shit on that bench, eh? So there's the hole. I can't even... There's so much crap on it, I can't even push stuff that way. Look. Okay. See like that, yeah? Can you see? Hmm. Check it every now and again. Don't go like the camera. There. And that's how you get a burn off of a plastic screwdriver when you're a knobhead. You can do it if you're not a knobhead as well. If some other knobhead's done it and then you get the screwdriver. Alright. Yeah. You've got to be really careful with these. I shouldn't do this because I might fuck it up again. But can we see those scratches? I think so, can't we? Alright. So this is 2,000, all right? Right. 
Right, people, and then I use this Auto Gleam Headlight Restoration Compound. So this, oh, I know what this is. Got all these bits. Oh, I'll put it back in the box. Fuck it. That's too much work. Well, I don't know. I should send this to Australia to get this done. Australians can mend these and fix these way much better than what we can. From the videos. Oh dear. Fucking hell. Alright, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Fuck it. I'll remember now. Let's have a look. Alright, so the last video, funny old camera angles, weren't my fault really, well it was my fault because I'm the, uh, I'm the film, I'm the, I'm the cameraman, the fucking editor and everything like but I was filming it with the iPhone, then the iPhone gave up as we know, so uh, I still say it's not my fault, right we moved that over there, so I've, I've had this for ages and I keep moving the box around. I keep thinking I'll do a good video on this. Look at that. So Trevor, that's uh, that's a braids, and that is German for go in the Friday murder box. All right, Friday murder box to all that one, along with that coal hammer and the other thing. Fucking hell, that's had some banging on that. God dear. Now I mean, when you get something like that, people, what do you do? Do you uh, do you do a scout crafter? All right. Yeah, have I got it all in picture? Do you do a scout crafter with this and take that back down that ridge, or do you sell it as is? I mean, the handle's a bit beyond it, isn't it? Come on, fucking hell! That's a genuine wood and tape handle. Should I, or should I leave the rust on there? What do you think? What do you think? Leave the rust or clean the rust? Give me your answers now and I'll, uh, I'll do what you say. Let's put that over there. Fucking hell. Right, now what we have got here. It's this chap good. He always combines postage and... Uh, he made that fit in the box, didn't he? I remember that, this box arrived, it was slightly open, but there we are. Cool, that's a big old chuck, isn't it? Back handle, that's easy. This is do it yourself breast grill kit. That's a Stanley, that's what I bought it, yeah. Yeah, it's a Stanley. So silver and black and oil smell. That's nice that, isn't it? Maybe I should do this one probably. All the Stanley's a fucking sticker. Oh, this the the sticker don't matter too much. We can we can put a bit of masking tape over that and ruin it, can't we? No, we can um, We can be fucking careful with it this time. I feel like James Bond now. Just before I uh, take the shot at the violinist coming through that big billboard in Germany. I'll fucking load it up my shoulder. Yeah. Forgot the sighting mechanism. Put that on. 
I mean, it's turned into a machine gun now, isn't it? I'll be offending someone with the word of machine gun. The use of the word machine gun. Oh, this is, I mean, this is all bad. Oh, does that need a little circle or something on it? No, no, it's a, it's a button. Wow, look at that. It won't go on there, would it? It would. You idiot. You idiot. Put it on the wrong side. Fucking hell. How are you going to shoot anyone with it on that side? There we are. A Stanley machine gun. Wow. Never seen one of them before. I'm going to be careful when I clean this up in case I shoot myself and all of it. So this has a black handle. I think we should start off. Maybe we'll restore it in stages so that you come back every video to watch me. We'll do the handle today and we'll do another bit next week. Two handles. Should we do two handles in the same do two handles in the same show? Huh? Well, I hope this ain't going to fall apart. Any ball bearings or anything roll out, because then I'll just throw the fucking thing away. Right. Oh. It is a good job I opened it up. And there's a lot of dried orange stuff and no grease whatsoever. Oh, more work. Oh dear, look at that shit, see? Alright, let's get all that stripped. Because I haven't took this right down to bare metal everywhere, so, because this was on and in the way. serious note where eye protection at all times when using wire brushes I don't bother diluting it, I just use the old degrease and neat.
these are not getting undercoat these are going straight black which is what happened originally so there we are that one can have a that one got a hole in it it hasn't got a hole all the way through it has it All right, that's uh, let's go with that. All right, so we turn it over there, shall we? Okay, so wait about an hour and you can paint right over it. No more rust, nice base. day you see me do this uh, this lovely yow lock look remember this oh, lovely that isn't it that is like you can see the color of it better now i think yeah that's, that's, that's a nice color anyway so we got that and uh i had another one and here he is so that's a yow bronze yeah this is a yow high security that is a hundred and ninety seven pounds it's a little bit bigger not much bigger but it is a little bit bigger someone give me that amazing isn't it people give you the generosity of some people it's got the recessed the recessed in there look super high security lock right ready and that sound nice. How about that, eh? Right, these have been sitting on this oil radiator for 24 hours and the paint is nicely baked on. So it's time to reassemble it.
right people something a little bit different a little makey make thing I picked up some of these solar lights they look like a cork and they go in the top of the bottle new garden ornaments for hardly any money these have got to be one of the simplest light kits to make and I am shocked in a good way at how bright these came out wait to the end and you will see for yourself I don't know if I should be sealing that in there or not I suppose wouldn't hurt would it to seal it in let's have a look what they look like with the lights off shall we They look good, don't they? People, this is <clears throat> 791 by Dow Corning, Dow Seal. This, I mean, you can seal everything with this. What this don't seal, don't need sealing. this lovely pair of these for this job I'm going to cut it off there I'm going to go right round the neck of the bottle here because there's a little lip and I'm just going to make a little hook for now and that can sit over a screw and we'll see how they do in fact I've only got to do one and I for the tester so there we are that ain't going to come off we'll put that on turn that on Turn them all on. I've done all four now. On, off, on, off, on, on. Right. Let's see if they come on when I turn the lights off here. Yeah. Alright, people, sorry, a little bit rough picture coming up now, but it was shot about two o'clock in the morning when I remembered to do it. So there's a bottle hanging on the outside of my workshop. That is quite bright, isn't it? Brighter than what I thought it would be. Right, let me know in the comments if you think I did manage to redeem myself with this one. We'll just have a quick flick through the main bits of the video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. There's bits here for everyone. Probably not Jack Thomas. Right, I'm going to say, restore for now.